Colombo University Alumni Association, CAFSA, is proud to present the discovery of an asteroid named after the University of Colombo called Colombo Uni Lanka. It is an honor to introduce Dr. Nalin Samarasinghe, one of CAFSA's executive committee members and an accomplished astronomer at the Planetary Science Institute in Tucson, Arizona, to inform us about his discovery of the asteroid Kalamba Yuninanka. Hello, I'm Dr. Nalin Samarasing. I'm happy to announce that an asteroid co-discovered by me is named after the University of Colombo with the official name 607372 Colombo Unilanka. First, I would like to thank my co-discoverer, Dr. Todd Lauer, and my colleagues with whom I consulted in this endeavor. Before discussing the discovery of this asteroid, its properties, and the reasons for choosing the name, let me briefly describe what asteroids are. They belong to a family of objects orbiting the Sun. Other such objects orbiting the Sun include comets, meteoroids, and of course planets and their moons. Asteroids are the building blocks of rocky planets, including the Earth. So in comparison to the planets, asteroids are small, rocky objects in our solar system. The building blocks of Jupiter and other giant planets were comets made up of ice and dust. The asteroids and comets currently in our solar system are leftover objects from the early era of the solar system formation. Therefore, they can be used as probes of the early solar system, nearly 4.6 billion years back. Meteoroids are smaller objects derived from asteroids or comets. When a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it is called a meteor or a shooting star. Okay, coming back to asteroids. Asteroids come in different shapes and sizes. We have sent robotic spacecraft to several asteroids either as flyby missions or as orbiting, also known as rendezvous missions. Here I show four such asteroids imaged by spacecraft. In fact, the top left picture shows the second asteroid to be imaged by a spacecraft, Ida, and its tiny moon Dactyl. Dactyl is the first asteroid moon to be imaged. Notice the different shapes of asteroids. Most asteroids are located in the main asteroid belt between planets Mars and Jupiter. The asteroids that come close to Earth are called near-Earth asteroids. The first asteroid was discovered in 1801. How many known asteroids are there? Currently there are observations from over 1 million asteroids and about half of them are numbered. An asteroid is numbered only after its orbit is accurately determined. Nowadays, most of the asteroids are discovered by sky surveys, regularly scanning the sky looking for asteroids. The discoverers can name a numbered asteroid after following the rules and guidelines set forth by the International Astronomical Union. Only a tiny fraction of the numbered asteroids are named. Why are asteroids relevant to us? First. As I mentioned earlier, they were the building blocks of Earth. Further, they brought a portion of the water we find on Earth now as impactors hitting Earth. Asteroids also changed the evolutionary path of life on Earth. Nearly 66 million years ago, dinosaurs got extinct as the result of events that occurred after an impact of an approximately 10 km size asteroid. Fortunately, such significant impact events causing global disasters are extremely rare. Asteroids could provide resources such as rare metals to us. In the future, humans may mine asteroids for such rare resources. Asteroids could also provide resources such as water necessary for interplanetary travel. So, asteroids have played a role in the past and will do in the future too. Now, I would like to discuss how the asteroid Colombo Unilanka was discovered. It was discovered on November 30th, 2000 
at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Southern Arizona in the United States. It was given the provisional designation 2000 WU178. The letter W means it was discovered during the second half of the month of November. The serendipitous discovery happened by comparing images of the sky taken hours apart and identifying the relative motion of the asteroid against the distant stars. The asteroid happened to be in the same region of the sky that our telescope was aimed at while observing a different object. After multiple observations by many different observers, the asteroid's orbit was well determined and it was assigned a number on January 29, 2022 that is almost 21 years after its discovery, a long time indeed. After the numbering of an asteroid, the discoverers can name the asteroid according to the rules and guidelines set forth by the International Astronomical Union. With the concurrence of the co-discoverer, I decided to name it after the University of Colombo. On March 21st, 2022, it was officially named as Colombo Unilanka. I want to point out that, unlike during the last century, the vast majority of new asteroids are discovered by various astronomical surveys searching for their existence. An asteroid is characterized by its specific properties such as its brightness, size, shape, distance from the sun and of course its orbit. The brightness of Colombo Unilanka is known from the observations, but we need to know its albedo or the fraction of sunlight it reflects back into space. As we do not know the albedo of Colombo Unilanka, we cannot calculate its exact size. However, it is estimated to be between 1 to 2 kilometers. For example, if the albedo is 0.1, that means it reflects only 10% of the light, then its diameter should be about 1.3 kilometers and the surface area will be about 5 square kilometers. Also, we do not know the shape of the asteroid. It could be close to a sphere or could be much more elongated. We do not have enough observations to tell how fast it rotates either. As to the orbital properties of Colombo Unilanka, its average distance from the Sun is 2.6 astronomical units or 390 million kilometers. That means it is in the middle of the main asteroid belt. Its orbit around the Sun is an ellipse but very close to a circle. The orbit of the asteroid is nearly 8 degrees inclined to the plane containing the orbit of the Earth around the Sun and the asteroid takes 4.2 years to go around the Sun once. Furthermore, the orbit of the asteroid and Earth's orbit is such that the asteroid Colombo Unilanka will always be more than 210 million kilometers from Earth. So no one needs to fear that it will hit Earth. Finally, it is an honor for me to name this asteroid after the University of Colombo for several reasons. First, the University of Colombo is the oldest institution of modern higher education in Sri Lanka and I am proud to be an alumnus of this esteemed university. It is timely that an asteroid is named after the University of Colombo during the year of its centennial celebrations. Then, I would like to honor the teachers of the university who taught selflessly with profound dedication to mold thousands of students to serve the world. Finally, looking toward the future, I want this to be an inspiration to the next generation of students throughout Sri Lanka. Thank you.